So today we've got gold at an all-time high. Hit 2063, I believe, was the, the tip. 2078, according to this uh, futures chart here. Uh, that soared to 2360. I, who knows what it really went to. The, depending on which futures option you're looking at, it's going to be a different price. But with digital gold acting more like digital lead in recent weeks, is Bitcoin and broader crypto trade high beta stocks, perhaps helping tech funds satisfy margin calls? Oh, there's a chart for gold and silver right there. Why 2063? Because 2063.54 was the closing high on August 6, 2020, when gold hit an all-time high in the aftermath of the Fed's money to basement frenzy when the Fed's balance sheet exploded by hundreds of billions weekly. So, question is, will it hold? By the way, look at that crazy volume. Silver, same kind of volume, also in a breakout, looking to hit its yearly high at 28.93. Very interesting story this afternoon. Um, they stopped trading of nickel after a 250 surge costing Chinese tycoon billions in margin losses. Damn, it went up 250% in the two trading days above 100K per ton. This is like a GameStop style short squeeze. This is what I was talking about the other day, how they did this and then claimed it was a computer glitch. and like, whoops, sorry, we're going to just do everything manually, which isn't shady at all. And here's the price of nickel. Cool. Natural gas prices have gone absolutely ballistic. Not so much here, but in Europe, they've gone, they've gone ridiculous. Russia has threatened to halt the Nord Stream 1, right? And there it is. You see it on the map. Uh, there's our EU natural gas futures. And someone in Russia, Novak, said a ban on Russian oil would lead to a catastrophic consequences for the global market. $300 a barrel. Bah! Speaking of oil, I mean, Shell is going to stop purchasing it from Russia, even though it just purchased a whole bunch of it. They said Tuesday it's withdrawing from dealing from Russian oil and natural gas, saying it would immediately halt all spot purchases. That's after they bought, like, a ton of it over the weekend. It said it would find alternative supplies of oil as soon as possible, though it cautioned it could take weeks to make up the difference leading to reduced production at some refineries. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, understand. I've heard that in Russia, they're paying like two bucks for gas, yet we are paying more now. So that really worked out, you know. Crude oil, 130.5. That hit it, I don't know if that's today or yesterday, but Jesus, it's in the 120s right now. This is a session high. And this is because Biden said on TV today he's going to ban Russian oil and that we're going to have to feel some pain from it, but so will the Russians. But apparently the Russians aren't feeling any pain because they've got all the oil and their prices didn't go up. So boy, how that just really helps out everything inflation-wise here. Ending it on that. Fucking, fuck, the, this world is fucking weird. Street bitches, street bitches, slash, go go puff, sweet bitches, make